Hi. There's a gun on you. It's the quiet car. Got to use your small inside voice in here, son. There's a gun. God. Talk to me. I am ready. You are getting the new and improved me. Because if you put peace out in the world, you get peace back. I think you might be forgetting what you do for a living. Take the gun. Every job I do, somebody dies. I'm not that guy anymore. Some conflicts require a gun. Hey, this is nice. Okay, what am I snatching and or grabbing? A briefcase. You said you wanted simple for your first job back. It doesn't get simpler. <laughs> You stab me? Yeah! Oh, we'll ruin your life the way you ruin mine. Dude, I don't even know you. There's nothing simple about this job. There's something else going on here. Yeah, I'm not the only one on this train looking for this case. Evan, mm. where's the briefcase? Oh, it's not shit. It was just there. We are right on schedule. Everything that's ever happened to you. This is gonna sting, bitch! Whoa! Has led you here. Fate. That's a shit deal. Oh, no, thank you. You know what? Do you have uh, anything sparkling? That's the one. Thank you. Domo arigato. You sure you want to talk this out? Not particularly, no. Uh, okay. Exclusively in movie theaters. <gasps> oh! I blame bad luck for everything that's gone wrong in my life. You sure have bad luck, Sam Greenfield. Ugh. Take that, universe. Oh. oh! Until... I found an actual lucky penny. <laughs> Something that could finally turn my life around. Yes? Yes, yes, yes! And what did I do? <gasps> I flushed it down the toilet. You flushed my panty down the toilet! <gasps> you just... talked. <gasps> Wait! I just need another penny! Who was with the obnoxiously long password? <laughs> ah! Ah! Humans cannot! Here. Where's here? The land of luck. I'll leave as soon as you give me another lucky penny. You best start blending in. Hello. Whoa, ah! Mighty leprechaun Fräulein. Well done, nature. This is where good luck is born. A dragon? She's the only creature that can sniff out bad luck. There's bad luck here too. Good luck on top, bad luck on the bottom. And the tiniest amount of bad luck can shut down our entire operation. Mm -hmm. Just how unlucky are you? Ah! Oh! Oh no! Ah! Oh! Super duper unlucky? You cause a disaster! Ah! The good luck connection has been severed. I doomed you and everyone else to a life of bad luck. We need to fix this. Ah! What are you doing here? Good luck to us both. What about Jeff? Und steil, yeah, steil, go, go down. I have no words. I have a story. Okay. I'm in West Texas, where this family just lost their daughter to an opiate overdose. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's not someone I was close to. But you flew to Texas for it? Uh, yes. Uh, it was a girl I hooked up with a few times. Her family thought that we were more serious than I did. I've heard so much about you. I've, I've heard, yeah. Evelyn just didn't die, she was murdered. What? And the two of us, we won't avenge her death. So as like a personal boundary, I don't avenge deaths. But here's what I can do. I'm gonna record everything that you think happened to Abilene. And we'll put it on a podcast and we'll see where it leads. What evidence does he have that it was a murder? Nothing. And that's the story. What's this podcast about? A new American reality where people invent these conspiracies. You got deep state, pill pushers, cartels, the law. Because the truth is too hard to accept. My Prius exploded. Oh my God. What if you were driving a real car with gas and stuff? The problem isn't that these people aren't smart. The problem is that they are. How do you take your coffee? In the mouth. If you want people to open up to you, you gotta act like one of us. Who here is a diehard fan of the University of Texas? <laughs> and who here is a fan of Texas Tech? What if she was murdered? This just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Looks like two pairs of prints, cowboy boots. Calling out an APB to find two men wearing cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> What happened to her? Why do you care so much? Why do you care so little? We're so lucky in you, Evelyn. I really don't know what you saw. I mean, art sees art. Texas has a full word. You can't solve something like this with a 45. It's the breakdown of society is what it is. I guess we I think that's very wise. You're going to need a 12-gauge, a couple of ARs, no. Western no. Automatic, and no. a sidearm yep. for no. safety. Exactly. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in an Uber. It was always just my mom and me to have a family. That's what I really want. No way. I got a cousin. That is the whitest man I've ever seen. He wants to meet up. Oliver? Cousin Avery. <laughs> it sounds so Jane Austen when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, my mom always wanted to take me to England to learn about our family history. There's a wedding coming up, actually. You should come. I would love to, but I... Come on, everyone is dying to meet you. Uh... Wow, it's incredible. I believe this is one of our important guests. Evie, this is a close friend of the family, Walter Deville. Uh, hi. Hi. Looking forward to getting to know you better, Evie. What are they doing down there? Miss, you should return to your room. We're all so delighted that you're here. Which one's the groom? The groom and his bride will make their grand entrance tomorrow. Ready? I, I can't shake the feeling that everyone is staring at me. Can you blame them? You and Walter seem to be getting awfully close, Evie. I'm curious, though. What has he told you about us? Ow! Let me see. <gasps> there she is. Where are the bride and groom? As you all know, there has been someone missing from this table. But that once broken bond will be renewed tonight. <laughs> to Eve. My new bride. I want to go home. But this is your home. Get up and bed. The water chilled in yours. Chilling will put us in. Help me, please. Here, yeah, dear. Hello, Mr. Harker here. There's a young lady who seems quite distressed. I'm so glad you've come to your senses, my love. An evil is coming that threatens our kingdom, our freedom. 
but we have a weapon. They are not prepared for. My king, the Europeans wish to conquer us. They will not stop until the whole of Africa is theirs. We must fight back for our people. Maneska, you are asking me to take them to war. War. Some things are worth fighting for. Don't know. You are called to join the King's Guard. No kingdom in all of Africa shares this privilege. Train hard, fight harder. We fear no one. And we fear no pain. I offer you a choice. Fight or we die. To be a warrior, you must kill your tears. We are the spear of victory! We are the blade of freedom! We are the home! Don't know. TV night with my pro. Oh, you're going on a date with Lois? So disrespectful. Oh, hey there, little fella. <laughs> nah. Wake up, buddy. It is walk o'clock. I have an owner. He's Superman. And I'm up. Make him sing to this thing like a melody. My dog's the best. Uh -oh. But he's not the greatest with other animals. This just seems gross. We need gross. Smelling stuff is one of the greatest joys of being a dog next to licking any part of your body. And I lick myself all the time. Well, that explains the breath. Superman. I am Lulu. And you will kneel before me, you piece of... Aw, aren't you a little ray of sunshine? What's going on? <gasps> You're invulnerable. I should be a lot more dead right now, right? All of us have superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> Still working at the kinks. I didn't see anything. Are you okay? My best friend is in danger and you have to help me. You know what they say about dogs, don't you? Never feed us chocolate. We love unconditionally. Baby, baby. But we're just a bunch of shelter pets. But we're stronger than you think. <laughs> we'll help you get your dumb owner back. Ace, deploy canine shield. What is a canine? Ah! Excellent shielding. That seemed incredibly painful. Uh, why can I have gotten a magic hammer or something? What do I have here? <gasps> Squeezy Bruce! Fetch! That better be a licensed toy or I will freak out. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>